Hey y'all, welcome on back. My name is Alex of the Creative Llama. And if you see that red live box right there, that means I'm live. But if you don't see it, that just means you're catching the replay. So put hashtag replay. Y'all, we're gonna create this standing buzz that was in my live sale um, last Sunday. Not this Sunday, but the Sunday before that. So we're gonna use this guy um, to craft tonight. I did add it to the website. I did not add everything that was in my live sale to my website. But we are gonna craft with this. So we've got we've got quite a bit of painting to do. So when you pop on, say hey and comment the word buzz, B-U-Z-Z, -Z, and I will send you the supply list for everything I'm using. And make sure you hang out till the end because we are gonna do some mystery a mystery cutout giveaway. So hello, hi Miss Donna Glaze. How are you, my beautiful friend? Y'all, if you ordered from the live sale, I have been busy. I promise I am working as quickly as I can. I did not expect for that live sale to do so well. So I've been a busy girl. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. All right. So I'm taking the color saffron and I'm just going to paint the words buzz or the word buzz. Okay. We are going to add, we are going to add, I think some of this look beehive looking hexagon I don't know we're gonna add that to the wording I think but we've got we've got quite a bit of painting to do so when you pop on say hey and comment the word buzz hello hi I'm gonna paint everything now I'm not worried about painting like the bees and the honey and the honey pot at the bottom because we're just gonna cover that up with other pieces so it doesn't necessarily need to be painted if you prefer to paint the whole thing you go for it, okay? But it's really nice because you can get a little messy with the painting and not be so um, exact. So that's nice. You got a notification, yay! Miss Lisa, were you not getting notifications before? Oh my goodness, y'all, I don't know what is going on. I don't know what the heck is going on with notifications, all of that, but comment exclamation point notify and that will get you, hopefully, a message to your to your messenger when I'm live next time. So I'm just going in with this color saffron. You could do this with bumblebee, um, but I think saffron is a really pretty muted, like mustardy yellow, and it's not so like bright. No, and I have been signed up. Oh, that's so weird. Well, I'm glad you got the message. Hello, Miss Stephanie. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Miss Pat. Sorry that I miss uh, hellos, y'all. My head is down, and I'm just trying to get this painted as quickly as I can. Okay, there is our buzz. What do y'all think? I love this color. Comment the word buzz. That will get you the supply list. This item was in my live sale, but I decided to add it to my site because I had to craft with it. Hello, hi everybody. There we go, Miss Marcy. Thank you for commenting. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm actually gonna take my board of pieces and this is where we've got we've got some painting to do so i'm going to paint the beehive in saffron um, which is the yellow color that i'm using and um just do this how is everybody's weekend what did you do hi kristen what did y'all do i feel like i've not seen y'all in a hot second i have not gone live since thursday um I had family in town this past weekend, which was really nice. Um, and I just was a busy, busy gal. Hello. Okay, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna do our honey pot. What color should we do our honey pot? What do y'all think? So this right here is gonna be like dripping honey. So I'm thinking we stain that brown. What do you, you just got off a cruise, Miss Marcy. <gasps> How did I not know you were on a cruise? That sounds fabulous. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. That's probably more like it. All right, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna paint my bees all in saffron, but we'll go in with a paint marker at the end and we'll paint, we'll, we'll do the lines. I figured that was easier than um, cutting individual pieces to line it up. Um, so we're just gonna paint those in the saffron color. This is an on low color, which means it's a seasonal color. It was one of our fall colors. And if you don't have it, you need it. Okay. We are going to use um, a transfer also that is currently on sale. So 
this transfer right here, you get these four patterns. Hi, Pam. Um, you get these four patterns um, for, I think it's like $9.90. Um, I will have a kit available, but you won't be getting, uh, it'll be regular retail pricing uh, for the kit. So if you like that transfer, I suggest you go snag it because it, I think it might be leaving us. Hi, Jamie. I'm not seeing you in a hot second. A red honey pot. What do y'all think? Hello, Helen. What color should we do our honey pot? I'm going to do the words in white. But we can make that honey pot whatever color we wanted. What do y'all think? I'm just going in and I'm painting all of my pieces. Now, right here, I'm not going to worry about painting this because y'all, this goes on right on top. So we're just going to paint the wings and the antennas. You like the wood stain? Uh, I can't see any comments. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Maybe go out and come back in. I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna paint this guy, the little honeycomb. And I think we got everything that needs to be a saffron. Okay, next thing, let's go in with our white, so the wood stain. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with white and a little sponge brush and we're gonna paint these. You can do this with, um, it'd be helpful if my tape was sticky, y'all but my tape is not very sticky, so my pieces don't wanna stick, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of putting it on tape, right? It's supposed to hold it. But I'm gonna paint these um, words, or these letters. Now you could totally use a makeup brush or makeup sponge, whatever you desire. Brown wood color, hi Deb. I kind of like the idea of the red, but I think brown will kind of go with the rest of what we're doing. But I do like the idea of the red. I do. <gasps> Did y'all see the new paste colors? Did y'all see them? Let me know. I'm like in love with the paste colors that they just came out with. Love them. Okay. Then we're going to go in with some black, brown, or wood stain. Okay. We will do that. We're going to go in with black. I think we're going to do... I'm just gonna offload my brush and I'm just gonna do a little bit of black on the antennas. A little black here. Yeah, yes, you love it. Hi, Diane, not yet. I just like, just I like them. What, just I like them? Oh, yes, you like them? Let me show y'all. Where are they? They're supposed to be in here somewhere. I don't know, maybe they're in, oh, here they are. So this is the color Squeeze. It's a really pretty bright orange and it's a matte color. And then this is the color fresh and it's a metallic blue. And you can paint with that one. I know, hi Tammy Duke. I got me some of those little sponges after I still use them. I know Miss Deborah, I really like them. Like I like these sponges a lot. I think I might like painting with these better than the makeup brushes or the makeup sponges. You love fresh, hi Barbara. Oh no, see, y'all, F book wants to be silly. So if you are if you can't see comments, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do. Okay, we're gonna go in and we're gonna paint the bees faces black. And then we will, y'all, I really like painting with these. Like the more that I'm painting this project with it, the more I'm liking them, okay? So, Going in with my black chalk paste, painting the faces. And if you are just hopping on, say, hey, um, my name is Alex. If you are new, welcome on in. Um, when I tried the makeup sponges, they came apart. Yeah, I can't see what you said to me. How about red mixed with a little bark to make it a little bit, ooh, like a dark red. We could do that. Do y'all like that idea? Ooh, I kind of like that idea. I like that idea. Okay. Let's, ooh, y'all, I was about to just put the brown on there. So, should we just go up? We're talking, so we're talking about this. We're talking about our honey pot and what color it should be. And we're thinking just to stain it brown. But Miss Jeannie just came up with a good suggestion. She's like, what if we mix a little bit of red and brown and make it more of like a barnwood color, like a reddish, dark, like a like a vintage kind of red. What do y'all think? So should we stain it just regular brown like this? 
or should we do like the vintage red? What do y'all think? Hi, Miss Deb. Yes, our keyword, oh, y'all look what I did. Our keyword is um, buzz. So that's the really great thing about using your chalk paste to paint is if you make mistakes like that, you can wipe it right off. Um, I know with like regular paint, you can't really do that. Red and brown, brown, vintage, red, vintage. Okay. We're going to attempt a vintage red, y'all. I don't really know like how I'm going to do that. I mean, obviously we're going to mix some colors up and we're going to, we're going to go with it, but we're going to see how this turns out. Share. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, y'all do me a huge favor. Hit that heart button for me and share the video. Sharing helps me out tremendously. Um, and I appreciate it. Brown. Miss Donna's like, girl, just stick with the brown. Just stick with it. Okay, we're going to paint our greenery and then we're going to go in. I need to paint those white too. Darn y'all. Lots of painting on this project, but I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. Um, I've been dying to do this project with y'all. I also want to do the like the standing bees and the standing, standing ladybugs. There's so many things I want to do. So much springtime crafts that I want to create. So many springtime crafts that I want to create. All right. Y'all, Easter's this weekend. What are y'all doing for Easter? Y'all have any plans? I am going out of town Friday for one night. We're going to go up to College Station where Texas A&M is. I graduated from Texas A&M. Um, and we're going to go, my whole family and I are going to go to a baseball game up there. For just for one night and then we'll come home Saturday afternoon and then Sunday's Easter which I just cannot believe can you take the chalk paint off the wood with water if it's dry yes Miss Diane um now when you do that if you paint so like how I painted ah, how I painted the body in saffron it's water it's like Alex get your thoughts together girl it, it's water soluble. So if you wipe it, you're going to probably also wipe off that bottom color. Just repaint it with whatever, with the other color. It's fine. Or even silver. Hello, Colleen. The wings in the new color. And this one? Are y'all talking about putting the wings in this color? Having a birthday party for me? Oh, your birthday's this weekend? How did I not know that? How did I not know that? I'm going to College Station. College Station, Texas. All right. Let's get this on here. We still haven't decided the blush one. The blush one. Happy birthday, Miss Deborah. That's, oh my goodness. I hope you're having a great day. The blush one. What blush one? And I'm going to paint the stick to the like the little honeycomb stick, whatever you want to call this, in brown. All right, let's start mixing up some colors. The blue one. For the wings? You want... Oh, I guess you could. I guess you could do that. I see kind of where you're going. Okay, let's mix up a color. So, I'm just over here just talking, talking, talking. I apologize, y'all. All right, let's pull out candy apple. This is not in the cart link. So hi, Cheryl. If you comment the word buzz, B-U-Z-Z, -Z, the second link will have um, the transfer and um, all the colors I'm using. But this one is not in there. This is the color candy apple. Let me close up some of my jars. That's okay. Um, but the first link in the message will take you to the cutout if you want that. Um, that was added to my website today. Alrighty, so we're gonna get in here. Y'all, my candy apple is a little, it's a little dry. So I'm gonna throw this in here. Oh, it's very dry. We're gonna add some water, okay? And then we're gonna add some brown. Y'all think brown or a little bit of black to kind of give it the vintagey look. I know someone said brown. I think it was Miss Jeannie. Should we add brown or black? But I'm gonna add some water to kind of thin this out and like kind of bring it back to life. So if your paste is ever dry like mine, use distilled water and just kind of mix it in until it soaks up. Getting this in there. 
And then once we add, it's a little too thin right now, but once we add the other one, the other color, we should be good. Okay. I'll take this. Yes, y'all wish Miss Deborah a happy birthday. That's wonderful. All right. So no one said anything, so I'm gonna go with brown. There we go. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. <laughs> I'm gonna go with brown. I think black might be a little harsh. And we're gonna go in and mix in a little bit of brown with this. Thank you for the follow. Anytime you'll hit that follow button, the blue number behind me does change. The blue number does change. All right, let's mix in this brown. Y'all are very quiet tonight. I don't know if people can't comment or people are just cooking and watching, but if you're cooking and watching, thank you for, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Okay, let's mix this in here. I think it needs more brown. We're experimenting here. We are experimenting here, y'all. Normally, I don't mix a whole lot of colors or I already have an idea, but we're trying this out. Hi, Nancy. Okay. Getting this mixed up. Oh yeah. That's like a, it's like a vintagey red, I think. But I think it needs more brown. Let's do a little bit more brown. How about, oh, you could do cherry. You could do cherry with this. That would work. Um, that's not brown, Alex. Um, I probably should have pulled cherry because it already kind of is a little bit of more of a vintage red. Um, but we're just going to use what I have. And that would totally work. All right. Let's mix in this brown and then let's just paint it. Okay. We're going to see how this turns out. The red may not go with it. And if it doesn't, we will just go back and paint over it in brown. Okay. Oh yeah. That's pretty. That's like a, I, don't, I know it's hard to tell, but it's a really pretty a really pretty um, red, like deep red. Okay, so we're gonna take this. Ooh, yeah, that's real pretty. It reminds me of cherry. It definitely reminds me of cherry, just darker. So let me show y'all. I know it's kind of hard to see, like to really see the tone or the hue of it, but it looks really, really pretty. And I didn't completely mix the brown in there, so there's a little bit of brown streaks, and it actually doesn't look too bad. Staring at the amazing. I can't see any comments, but mine went through because I got the link in your messenger. Okay, Miss Deb, there's a, there's several other people who are having the same issue about not seeing comments. So I appreciate you. I appreciate you commenting, Miss Deb. Thanks for commenting our keyword. That helps me out so much when y'all comment and interact and hit the heart button and all those things. Like even if you just don't ever buy anything, you just hang out with me, comment, hang out, chat with me. That helps. All right, y'all, I think, I think what I'm gonna have to do is mix up a jar of candy apple and make this vintage red because this is really, really pretty. All right, let's close all of our jars. Maybe. Oh, there's the brown. Okay. Let's get this all dry and then let's start putting it together. That's a really pretty red. We might need to do one more coat of the red just so that way it's not so streaky. But I think this, I think we're good with the yellow. All right. Here we go. Hi, Lisa's pretty little things. Yes, y'all, I am presenting for Craft Around the Clock. So if you're not a member of Craft Around the Clock, be sure to join. I meant to put a link um, up above, but be sure to join because there's amazing crafters in that group um, that you could, yay. Yay, Miss Sandra. All right, I think we need to do one more coat of the red because it's looking a little, it's looking a little um, streaky. All right, let's thin this out just a smidgen. I'm gonna spray a little bit of water on my brush, thin it out, and sorry if you can hear some little pitter patters. My dog is in here. My miniature dachshund is in here. They're mad at me right now because I didn't feed them before I went live, and so they're circling like vultures around here. 
my big dog is sitting there in the corner just staring at me. Like, lady, feed me. All right, that looks a whole lot better. Let's start putting all of this together. Hi, Lynn. And then let's see how this looks with the buzz. Oh yeah, that's gonna be pretty. So here's my thought. We're gonna put the honeycomb pattern on the words, but I'm not sure if we should do the honeycomb pattern on the entire word or just parts of parts of the letters. So I'll explain you what I mean here in one second. Let me paint this little part right here. And let's get this in black. Now I don't have to be precise because y'all, that honeycomb is just gonna cover it right up. Hi Carla, well welcome Miss Carla. My name is Alex. Um, a little bit about me is I live in San Antonio, Texas. Um, I used to be a teacher. I taught for 11 years um, before I was able to resign and do this with y'all. So welcome on in. Be sure to hit that follow button and when you do that little counter behind me does move. Um, but let's kind of start placing the pieces. Actually, I really just wanna see how this looks. I am using chalk paints or chalk paste. So chalk paste is made with for the stencils, but you can also paint with it. Um, you can thin it down, thin it out with just water and also, um, oh, OMG y'all, look at that. You can also thin it out and do like watercolor with it. So look, oh my goodness, y'all. What do y'all think about that red color down there? Hold on, let's get the word honey on there. And let's look at this. H. O N E Y. What do y'all think about that? That looks so stinking pretty. I love it. Okay, Miss Jeannie, you were right. You were right, girlfriend. All right, let's check it out. We're not going to put all of the pieces down, but I kind of just want to see. Okay, so we're going to use this guy on the letters. Okay, we're going to put these on the letters. This is my question. Should we do the entire letter letter in the honeycomb pattern or just do bits and pieces of it? So like what I'm saying is maybe on the B, I just put it kind of, I didn't really show this well, but just kind of put it on the corner and then on the U, maybe on this side, kind of like just little pieces or the whole letter. So Miss Linda's saying, girl, do the whole letter. What do y'all think? Let me put that down. Let's wax this. Different spots. I'm thinking different spots, but I'm down to do whatever y'all want. Whole letter pieces, whole letter, whole letter. Bits and pieces would be cute. That's kind of what I'm thinking, Miss Lisa. Good point, Miss Marcy. We could do that. Let's try that. So let me wax. I'm going to wax the entire letter. Now I heat up my wax because mine, for whatever reason, is a little on the drier side. So I just like to soften it up with my heat gun. So here's what we can do. We'll start with the B. Hi, Michelle. Bits and pieces. Pieces. Hi, Miss Patsy. Um... Y'all, I thought, I thought my, my uh, thing was clean, but I'm going to fuzz this. I don't know where my fuzz cloth is. Shocker. Oh, it's right here. Look underneath the transfer, Alex. Let's fuzz this. Hello, Miss Mary. So fuzzing is just going to add a little bit of lint to make it a little less sticky. Because if it's too sticky, y'all, it's going to want to stick to your surface. And um, it's not going, it's going to want to stay there. And when you go to pull it, you can peel off the paint or um, or like stretch or transfer. What kind of wax are you using? This is surface wax that I have in my shop. I sell this. Um, it's just regular surface wax. I really like it because it doesn't have an odor and it's colorless, which I mean, you can get colorless, color, colorless wax really anywhere. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. 
kind of at an angle. Okay. And we're just going to do a little piece of it. We'll lift it and we'll see what we think. Okay. And then if we're like, no, let's do the whole letter. We will. So I'm going to take a mini squeegee. Okay. So this is black chalk paste and I'm just going to kind of be a little messy with it. Not so precise. And there it is. Oh, I know y'all can't really see it. Hold on. I'm trying to, I haven't been able to see any of my comments. No, Miss Mary, there's a lot of people having that issue. Okay, so there it is in just some pieces. And we could do a little bit on the bottom of the B. Or should we do the whole letter? I'm kind of thinking we should do the whole letter now. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Mary. So if you're just jumping on, the dilemma right here, it kind of looks like a spider web. You're right, Miss Deborah. The dilemma that we're having is, do I do the honeycomb pattern bits and pieces on the lettering, or do I just cover the whole letter with the honeycomb? Miss Colleen is Alex. She's like, Alex, stop asking and just do what I tell you to do. <laughs> Hi, Shauna. All right, so here's what I am gonna do. I'm gonna clean this because we are gonna have to put this back on top and I don't want that color, the black, whole letter. Okay, I agree, the whole letter. Okay, we will do the whole letter. So I'm gonna clean this. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water and I'm gonna use a baby wipe on top of my transfer. Do not use a baby wipe on the back of your transfer. Okay, that can kind of mess up the stickiness. Okay, then turn it over. We're gonna do the same thing. Spray with water. Take my disgusting board eraser. I need to get a new one. Y'all, I'm like wearing a hole in it. And then let's dry this off. Honeycomb with white. Ooh, should we do white or black? I'm gonna, I'll have to clean that up. But I can clean that. I'm doing good, Miss Linda. That's a really good suggestion, Miss Marcy. I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. Should we do the honeycomb in white or black? So we're gonna add this to all the letters. Now I'm kind of thinking white would be pretty. Let me dry this while y'all tell me what color to do. I was gonna do black, but I think white might be prettier. Less like harsh. I got one of the glass. <gasps> Yay, Michelle, you're gonna love it. Girl, this is my favorite craft room purchase. This desk, this storm. That way, oh, that's a good idea. That way, okay, we'll do white. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. We already put that down. So I am going, yeah, I'm gonna wipe this up as best I can. And then we're going to go over it in, um, we'll repaint the B in our yellow color. But this is why I like to use the chalk paste to paint because, or at least to at least put your stencil, obviously to use your stencils. But this is why I like to use the chalk paste because you can wipe it up um, and redo it because it's water soluble. So I think it was Miss Diane. I think you were asking, do you see how it kind of looks like the, the paint is coming off? That's because I'm scrubbing it and I use the paste to paint it. So it is gonna come up with that wipe. So we're gonna repaint. Hi, Cynthia, we're gonna repaint. I got mine, Miss Colleen, I got mine from Michaels, but they also sell them on Amazon. So if you comment the word, or ha if you have commented the word buzz or comment the word buzz, um, you will get a message. And in that message, there's a button that says Amazon favorites. If you click on that, it'll open it up to my Amazon store and you can go snag this. And it helps me out a little bit when you purchase from my Amazon store. Look, good as new. Alrighty, here we go, y'all. Let me dry this. And then we're gonna put, put white on there. Okay, so if you are just hopping on, comment the word buzz, B-U-Z-Z, -Z, 
and that will send you the supply list. Well, heck y'all, just dropping stuff over here. That'll send you the supply list and all a bunch of different other information that you can use. So I guess now I should kind of do it to where, hmm. yeah, I think up and down. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can do the U and the B at the same time, if it all fit. So we are going to have to connect this. That's okay. I fuzzed it. I'm not worried about this one is not super, super sticky because I've used it before. Um, but I'm not worried about it pulling up the color. All right, we're going to push down and let's pull out our white. You're welcome, Miss Kathy. I didn't see, I didn't see your, your message saying that you wanted me to take that off. So I apologize. Okay. Here we go. No. So I could tell that, there we go. So the cool thing about this transfer is we can connect it. So the U is not completely covered down here, but we can connect this and make it fit. Or make it like go on, I mean. But I'm just going to just chalk all over wherever I think it is the letter is because it's hard kind of hard to see I'm gonna lift it up slowly and see if there's any spots that I missed that looks good bam oh yeah y'all that looks good ah, this looks so good okay let's try this Hi, Haley. Let's get this dry. And then we're just gonna keep moving forward. Thank you, Miss Carla. I agree, Miss Melissa. Yeah, I like the white better than the black. All right, so the really neat thing about these transfers is before I do anything, I should clean it, but we don't have time. So I'm just going to wipe up. Hi, Cheryl. I'm gonna wipe up the paste that is seeping out. So I don't know if y'all can tell. Like, do y'all see the paste like right here that's kind of seeping out? If I go to put that on my surface, it's gonna smear, okay? So I'm just gonna take some water and my board eraser and just clean that up. I said I wasn't gonna clean it, but I don't wanna put that on there because that would have smeared it and it would have looked not so good. Okay, so I always suggest to clean your transfer in between just to guarantee that you're not gonna mess it up. Okay, and same thing, I'm just gonna use water. Iowa got five inches of snow. Oh my gosh. It's been cool here in San Antonio, um, at least the last couple of days. I haven't really gone outside today, to be honest with you, so I'm not quite sure what the weather is like right now. All right. Here we go. Dry this up. There we go. Get all that extra water that's on the back off. Oop. Okay, we're gonna bring this back out. That's still a little tacky. So I don't wanna put my transfer on top when it's still a little wet, because obviously it can smear it. Yeah, Miss Lisa, the, pa the paper towel on the sticky side is fine, because when it's still a little wet, it's not going to stick to it, but obviously as it dries, it will regain its stickiness, which I need to fuzz this, because it is sticky now. Thank you. All right. Now we're gonna line it back up. So the really neat thing about these like smaller transfers is that they are like infinity transfers. 
So you connect, you can connect them to extend the pattern, which is the reason why I love these. So if you, you love chalk, y'all, there's a huge sale going on. And these are, the big transfer with this is $9.90 plus it's buy three transfers, get one free. Just saying. All right, push that down. Let's finish the U. Looks good. We're gonna go in and do the Z. And then I don't think, uh, I don't wanna have to clean this again, but I'm afraid if I don't, it's gonna smear and I'm gonna mess it up. Okay, I'm gonna lift this slowly. So if there's any spots that I missed, I can lay it back down and fix it. Oh, y'all, that looks good. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dry the bottom part and I'm gonna use the part that I haven't um, chalked on yet. But I gotta make sure that this is dry. Oh, that looks so good. It did smear up here a little bit, but we can fix it. Okay, let's see if this is dry. Yeah, okay. Here we go. We're just gonna connect this here. Like so. There we go. I'm just going to do the bottom part and we're done. Hmm. Y'all look at this. Oh my goodness. How adorable. Okay. I'm just going to set that over there. Y'all see me clean it. I don't need to show y'all again, but let's close this up. And now we've got to glue. Okay. Cause I've got eight minutes to glue this bad boy together which it shouldn't take us that long. Get this dry and here we go. All right, let's start with this. We're gonna use my stick, fat, my stick fast glue. I use the thick, okay? Oh, I know you shouldn't do that, but it is what it is. A little bit of glue. And we're just gonna line this right up like so. Okay, same thing here. Push that down. Remember, there's a B, there's gonna be a B that goes on top of that one. Let's get I was waiting for it. Boys. Someone says whenever they bark, they're just talking. They're just talking, y'all. Yay, Miss Kim, I'm so glad. Why are you rushing? Because I'm presenting for Craft Around the Clock and um, my time slot is over in seven minutes. But I guess we don't have to rush. Okay. All right. We'll do this. Glue that on there. And I like using the stick fast glue, but y'all, it's sticky. It is sticky. Okay. Same thing here. Glue that down. Then let's glue the honey to our honey part, pot. And everything is etched, so I'm not guessing where anything goes. It the, the wood is etched, so it'll show me exactly where I need to put it. Miss Kim, comment the word buzz, B-U-Z-Z, -Z, okay? And when you comment that, my page will send you a message. And if you don't see it come through, check your message requests. And it'll be the first link in the message. It'll say, grab your buzz, standing buzz cut out here and you can go snag that over there. Or you can go to creativelamadesigns.com and it's there. But this was in a live sale 
last week. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit on here, like so. Y'all, this is so cute. Hi, Karen. You're welcome, Miss Kim. If you don't want to go through the message of the uh, through the trouble of the message, just go to creativelamadesigns.com, and if you scroll down a little bit, it is on the main page. I added it to the main page today. Okay, there's that. Let's glue the little topper. Mm. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm in love. Oh, shoot, y'all. We got to do that real quick. All right, let's do our bees really, really quickly. So I'm going to pull out my chalk markers. And we are going to just trace the lines. I thought this would be easier than giving all the little pieces. Because the file originally had all the pieces to the lines. But I thought, y'all, those are so hard. And you're going to, I would lose them knowing me. So we're just going to use our paint pen and just trace the line and color it in. That's why we score the wood so you can see it. Not all of it has shit. Uh, Miss Susan, check your email. Because if your items have shipped, you will get a email saying they have shipped with tracking. A um, little bit, little bit about the live sale is, I got 110 orders, <laughs> um, almost a thousand items ordered. Um, so I'm working as fast as I can, y'all. Um, but like I said, live sale orders can take anywhere from seven to ten business days before they ship, from the day you pay. Uh, once you pay your invoice, not including the day that you pay your invoice. So, I do too, Miss Karen. Thank you, Miss Mary. I know, I'm like in shock of how well the sale did. Like I, I'm in like, like just disbelief how much y'all loved the items that I had in there. So, please be patient with me. And like I told y'all, I do all of it on my own. Um, I cut, I package, I ship everything completely, 100% by myself. I have zero help. Like none. It's just me, y'all. Ah, oh, I didn't paint that. <gasps> y'all, how did I not, how did we miss that? Oh my goodness, we didn't paint. How did we miss that? Y'all are usually like on me about my painting. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get this covered. We'll dry it. And then we have a couple more pieces. So while this is drying, we'll, we'll, we'll um, glue those. Oh my goodness, y'all. All right, put that over this way. Let's do these two pieces next. Yes, y'all, comment the word buzz. We'll pick a winner at the end to win um, some Happy Meal, a mystery cutout from me. Um, mystery cutouts will ship when they ship. I've had some people message me about their mystery cutouts. They ship when they ship, y'all. Right now, mystery cutouts are not um, a priority. The live sale orders are a priority. So just keep that in mind. Karen, I really try, I personally really try to keep my wood cutouts at a um, affordable cost. I know sometimes people can get a little crazy with their prices on wood cutouts. Um, like I've seen people who charge triple what I charge um, for one item. So if you watch other really large crafters, go look on Etsy or go, come ask me or just do your research because you could probably find it cheaper um, on 
Etsy or with another person, with okay, a smaller business. Um, like, no joke. There's one person in particular that charged like triple what I charged for something that I paid that I would charge all 10. She charged people 30. Um, so just, just be mindful of that. I really try to keep it at an affordable price for y'all. All right, glue this guy down. <sighs> y'all, this is so cute. I know, I know, Miss Donna. It was in the live sale, Miss Billy. It sure was, but I decided to do it. <gasps> oh my God. We're not done yet, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna take my black. She's not a chocolate tour person, though, so I will tell you that. But I don't want to, like, be talking smack about anybody, y'all. But just do your research. Ask, ask smaller, like, wood cutout businesses if they have that product. Just, just trying to help y'all save some money, you know? Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, I love this. All right, let's get the white. We're going to do some details and then we'll be done. A little bit here. Miss Susan, you can still get it. I'm working on it. I'm not done. Be patient with me. Okay, we're gonna add. That. Then I think we're gonna go in and add lines where on the hive. Miss Marcy, thank you for suggesting to do white honeycomb. You saved it, girl. Okay, we're almost done, y'all. But, what do y'all think? <gasps> I'm obsessed. I love this. Okay. All right, we're gonna just do dots all around. Sorry if I'm quiet, y'all. I'm just, just trying to get this done. Thank you. All right. What do y'all think? <laughs> She's so cute. always heard beauty is in the details. Yes, Miss Kim, I'm working on getting better at the details. Now y'all, I totally forgot to paint our stand. I'm gonna go ahead and just glue it together, um, but I will go back in at the end and I'll just paint the stand black um, just for time, because I'm a little over. Thank you. And then we'll be done. So hit that heart button for me, comment the word buzz, that will get you the supply list. I'm trying not to move this around. That will get you the supply list, including the supply list to the cutouts uh, and all that. But let this set up. Hi, Bonnie. I am Miss Donna. You know, I just have to like, I just have to start using them. I have to use them. I, oh my gosh, y'all. I'm like knocking stuff over here left and right. Did it move on me? There we go. There. What do y'all think? Look how cute that is. Do y'all love this? Okay, Miss, I don't know if Miss Jeannie's here, but the, the red honey pot was, 
Chef's kiss, such a great idea. What do y'all think? Oh my goodness, I love this. This turned out cuter than what I was expecting. Yes, Miss Kim, you need one, girlfriend. You need one. So like I was saying before I pick a winner, y'all, the transfer that I used is this one right here. Um, it comes with four different patterns. I used obviously this one, but you, this transfer is normally $33 and you can get it on the website for $9 and 90 cents, something like that. Um, so that is worth it, um, to go snag that. I absolutely love the heck out of that transfer. All right, let's pick a winner. Here we go. Hit the heart button. If y'all haven't done so, please sprinkle, please share the video. That helps me out tremendously. Um, but I absolutely love how this turned out. It absolutely turned out better than what I expected. All right, here we go. We're going to pick a winner. And the winner is, dun, dun, dun. where is it? I saw a name. Miss Kim Fogelman. Kim Fogelman. Miss Kim. Kim Fogelman, are you here? Thank you, Miss Carla. Thank you. And y'all be sure to go join, when you comment the word buzz, be sure to join my um, VIP group and my cutout group. I will have a kit with this. So if you just want the honeycomb and the cutout, I can do that. Just know that this, getting this, will be a better price than what's in the kit, okay? I can't match, I can't match this price. Um, but if you want the kit, let me know. Um, I'll post it in my VIP group. Miss Kim, just send me a message saying, hey, I won, um, and your mailing address, and I will get your name written down on my list for um, mystery cutouts to be sent out, okay? All right, y'all, have a great, great rest of your day, and I will see y'all tomorrow, okay? Bye, guys.